All right, welcome to CKLA Lesson 8, Unit 5 of Skills. Today we are going to be identifying vowel sounds and words. We're going to read and write words with the schwa sound and spellings. And we're going to read the story of the fire. Now, first of all, let's talk about verbs. What is the verb in the sentence? Remember, your verb is your action word. So your verb or your predicate here, he swims. Your verb would be swims. Now, what vowel sound is in this word? So sound your word swims out, touch spell it. S -o -i -m -s. What's your vowel sound in swims? What does the I say? It says I. Now let's read the sentence. What is your vowel sound in the verb play? Your vowel sound would be A. Your A, Y, make that A sound, play. Okay, what is your vowel, or excuse me, what is your verb in this sentence? She hides. So your predicate or verb would be hides. It's your action word. Now, what's your vowel sound in this word? This would be your long I because of your I consonant E. So this would be the vowel sound I. We feel. What's your verb feel so that's your action or your predicate and your vowel sound is e i wrote what's your verb your verb is wrote what's your vowel sound in wrote you hear the o right your e is that sneaky or tricky e and you don't hear that e sound it makes the o say its name we fell. Your verb is fell. What's your vowel sound in that word? Eh. He did cry. What's your verb here? Did cry. And your vowel sound in cry would be the I, right? Your Y is making that I sound. Now, last time we were together, we learned a new sound. What's the name of this sound? It's the schwa. We learned the schwa sound, and this is your symbol for the schwa sound. The schwa sound says, uh, and remember, it can change based on where you are in the United States. So the schwa sound is not always the same everywhere you go. Like in this word debate, your schwa here is your E, so it's not saying the typical E sound, it's saying uh. Now we're gonna do a little bit of um, practice with our spelling spoilers. So it's time to try to beat the spelling spoilers by spelling the schwa and the uh sounds that you have learned in this unit. So yesterday we talked about those spelling spoilers and how they don't want you to use that schwa sound. They want you to misspell that schwa sound. So it's going to say uh, but it's not going to be the u like normal. It's going to be a different vowel. Okay, so um, we're going to look at our page 43, and we're going to try to wreck the spelling of some of these words with the schwa sound. So for example, the first word is about, about. So on number one, I'm going to say the word and you're going to write it on the spell side. And then I'm going to give you the correct spelling of the word about and you're going to check it. So beside your, your um, spell column, you have copy. That's where you're going to copy the word correctly. So if you missed it, you're going to copy it the correct way. So on the first column, let's do that one together. We're going to write the word on spell. So go to the column that says spell. We're going to write the word about. And you know, your spelling spoilers want you to get that spelling wrong. So we're going to try to not be tricked by that schwa sound. And we're going to try to get that um, vowel correct. So on number one on spell, let's write about. Now, when you go back and grade it, so when I give you the correct spelling, if you misspelled, the word, you're going to copy it correctly, and you're going to write, or you're going to fill in yes, 
if you beat the spelling spoiler. So if you spelled it correctly, you're going to put yes. And if you spelled it incorrectly, you're going to bubble in no. Um, now, this is kind of a self-check thing. So you may have to pause the video. If there's one that you need a little extra time on, you can. All right, number two, write the word China. China. So under spell, write China. Now check your spelling. If you wrote it correctly, you're gonna bubble in yes. If you wrote it incorrectly, you're gonna copy it down and bubble in no. China. Cool. Okay, your next word, number three, around, around. around, check it. Now that, make sure your uh sound, that schwa, you're not spelling it with a U, so you have to pick a different vowel, around. So if you were correct, you're gonna mark yes with around. If you were incorrect, you're going to mark no and copy it correctly. Like I said, you may need to pause the video in the middle of this to check your answers. Number four, Africa. Africa. Check your answer. Mark yes if you got it correct and no if you got it incorrect and copy it correctly. Ooh. Number five, appetite. Appetite. You hear that uh in there, but it's not a you. Appetite. Check your answer. If you got it correct, mark yes. If not, mark no and copy it down correctly. Tennessee. Tennessee. Check your answer. If it's correct, bubble yes. If it's incorrect, bubble no and copy it correctly. Tennessee. Now pay attention to your E's here. They're not saying uh. I mean, they're not, it's not the U, but it's saying that uh, that schwa sound. Number seven, love. Love. Check your answer. Mark, bubble yes. If you got it correct, and if not, write it down correctly in the copy side and bubble no. Number eight, cousin. Cousin. Now this one's tricky because it's two vowels making that schwa sound. Check your answer. You got it right, bubble yes. If you got it incorrect, bubble no. And copy it correctly, cousin. Number nine, something, something. Okay, if you got it correct, bubble yes. If you got it incorrect, a bubble no and copy it correctly. And the last one, don't get beat by your spelling spoilers. Um, write the word touch, touch. Check your answer, is it correct? If it is, bubble yes. If it's incorrect, bubble no and copy it correctly. Touch. Okay, now I want you to look in your packet. You have a workbook page 8.3 and it is page 47 and 48. We're looking for the story fire. Now here are some um, sounds that you're gonna hear, some words and sounds that you're gonna hear in fire. You've got the schwa sound and you've got the I sound with I-G-H, like your spelling words. So let's first preview these spellings. So let's read these words together. Attack, attempt, alarming, approach, afraid. 
So all of your swas are at the beginning of the word. Now you've got your I sound, your I-G-H. Nightfall, sight, nights, frighten. Now let's look at some vocabulary. Um, some of the words that you're going to see in the story that you need to know the meaning to, to help with your comprehension are devise. If you devise, uh, you're coming up with a thought or a plan. He's devising a plan. If you defeat, you beat someone in something. Your first place, you're winning over them. Splendid is wonderful. Um, with the sun shining, it was a splendid day for the park. Prickly. Prickly is kind of pokey. Um, prickly is covered with sharp points. The cactus was prickly. Crackling, making sharp cracking noises. A fire crackles loudly. A grove. A grove would be a small growth of trees without underbrush. So behind my house, there is a grove of orange trees. A grove is like that. Patch of trees. Now some sayings that you, will, you may hear in this story. Um, Foot of the heel is the bottom of the heel. And a deed. If um, you sign a deed, it's a notable achievement. The boy did a good deed when he helped his neighbor mow his lawn. If you receive a deed, it could be like an award or an accomplishment. Now, what you're going to do tonight for homework, you're going to be reading 8.3, Fire. So you need to read it fluently. Um, I would read it at least once with someone else and at least once independently but if you're struggling with some words you need to stop and really focus on those words you're struggling with and read it um, until you're reading it without making errors and then you're going to work on page 45 and 46 which is 8.2 um, you're going to write answers and complete sentences like on number one why is it not hard to find the troll you're going to answer it using words from that question it is not hard to find the troll because and make sure that you use text evidence when you're answering these questions all right let's review our i can statements i can identify vowels in words i can read and write words with a swa spelling and sound and i can read the story the fire fluently have a great day